how to invite for spas. And so this is something I started um, a few years ago. And it was because there were some things that I didn't like that was happening whenever I would invite people to my spa. When I would have spas, I was finding out things like, you know, people weren't ever really getting invited till the day before or whenever the hostess was inviting people, she was only inviting six or seven. Um, I'd get to my spas and there'd be kids there every time because people didn't understand what they were uh, attending. And so there's several reasons for the, the invite and um, there's three steps, an optional fourth. And I'll tell you, the, the invite, the text, I always text, I say always and then like sometimes, um, like last week, I've got a spa here in, in about uh, two weeks with an older lady that she just does not text and neither does any of her friends. And so um, I actually had her mail me 12 women's names and addresses and I printed the text on a little piece of cardstock and stuck it in a, a uh, envelope, a colored envelope. I just made it cute. And yes, I spent the cost of a stamp to mail it to 12 women because if I'm going to take my time to get ready for my spa and I'm going to take that day and spend it on spaing her, then I'm going to make sure that her spa is uh, a good spa. Whatever I'm going to put my time into, I'm going to make sure that it's it's worth my time. And um, I'm going to do my best that the spa is what I, what, whatever I intended on it being. Now, sometimes you're still going to have things that happen. Sometimes I still have little kids that come to my spa, especially if people get used to, you know, real comfortable with me. They uh, they do that, and it really just messes up messes it up for everybody else because we could pass products, and it'd be a, a, a typical demonstration or a typical show, right? So, um, so how to invite the first the first text, and I'll tell you, you can find all these texts. If you'll go on our team Facebook page and up in the top right, you'll see a magnifying glass. And if you'll click on that and you'll search invite and you just type in invite and hit search, it'll bring up the three texts, the text to the hostess seven to 10 days out, the text to the hostess um, that gets her invitation. Then there's the invitation. And then there's also the text to the hostess the day before. And each one of those has a reason. And if you'll get in the habit of doing this, then um, nobody will question you. You have to have a system or you feel like you're just all over the place. Um, and you'll have less problems. You'll have more guests. You'll have more sales. When you have more guests, you always have also have the opportunity to have more bookings. And so um, everything just really works out better for you like that. So um, the text seven to ten days out, it is, it says, Hey, Jennifer, it's Gary. Your spa is still eight days away, but in the next day or two, just when you get a minute, because people don't like to be told now, so I like to keep it real casual. Just when you get a minute, text me your 12 names. It's 12, and it's 12 because 12 is a number that most I've found over my 12 years that 12 is the number that works great for people. Most Everybody can come up with 12 people that they know. 20 seems hard, and it's too hard to spot 12 to 14 women that could show up. Um, in an hour and a half and get them out the door, and that's important. Um, text me your 12 names and their cell phone numbers, and I'll take care of getting the invites to them. I want to invite them myself. I want them to know who I am. Um, I also want to make sure they get invited. Everybody's busy, and this is your business, not your hostesses. And so she's probably either not going to send the invite or she's going to send it through uh, Facebook, or and then somebody may not check their Facebook messages or um you know, whatever the case may be, I want everybody to get the invitation, the, the complete invitation, because there's reasons for that. There's a few reasons that I'm fixing to get to that. Just because you chose them of one of your 12, you could invite. Um, I'll put them into a drawing, and that gives her the incentive to get it back to you and not question why you're doing, why you're wanting to do that. They're going to be in a drawing if you'll get me your 12. Um, looking forward to your spa. Also, it makes it easier on you. You can just go to contacts in your phone and forward it to me from there. Some people, I had never done this till I started doing invitations on my, you know, through text. Um, so you just go to a person's contact information in their phone and just explain it to them when you book a spa with them. Say, you know, go to somebody that you know and down at the bottom of their contact information, they have a smartphone that says share contact, share contact, share it with me. Next person, share contact, share it with me. Super easy. Um, that will save you from having to type it all out. See you whatever day at whatever time. I 
put that in there because sometimes you're going to mess that up and you're going to assume she's going to think she's not going to remember and um, maybe she changed the time but forgot to tell you um that double checks if you'll put that in there see you june the 6th at six o'clock or whatever the day is then that um that double confirms that way you have less um, um chances for there to be a a uh oh so say it's going to be a margarita spa you're invited to beth connor's margarita spa on tuesday june the 3rd at 6 30 at address and I do that because this takes all the worry away from the hostess. Um, it gives them the address. It tells them what kind of spa it is, which makes it fun. Because Beth chose you as one of her 12. You want people to know that this isn't a Beth wanted to invite. She just invited 100 people, and you're one of them. Um, it's special. Beth, um, because Beth chose you as one of her 12, she could invite. You will be putting a special drawing for me that we will do at 630. So don't be late, exclamation point, smiley face. And I have actually been, as people come in the door, putting their name on a little sheet of paper, or before I leave the house, everybody that was invited, I just put all their names, first names on a little sheet of paper and uh, put a paper clip on them and take them. And then, you know, at 630, 640-ish, then I draw. Because that gets people, you know, oh, yeah, that's why she needs the names. Oh, yeah, um, she's really going to do the drawing at the beginning of the spa. Um, so come dress comfortable with little to no makeup on. That way people don't. You know, people understand that they're getting ready to do spa treatments. We'll be doing several spa treatments with light, slow, and soothing music, so please take this time for you. No kids under the age of 18. I don't pamper anybody under the age of 18. There's a few reasons for that. Um, no cell phones or husbands. If you start pampering uh, four or five kids at a spa, it really takes away the value of what you're doing. If you're going to do 80, and, and you're telling people they're going to get $80 in spa treatments, but you're willing to sit there and do that on, on four or five teenagers, it really aren't going to appreciate and they're going to show that they don't appreciate it during the spa because they're going to be on their phones and doing whatever. It's just very aggravating. So um, I say for legal reasons and that too, I'm just, I'm not going to give anybody under the age of 18 any products, especially for their face. Um, no cell phones or husbands, just an hour of you time. And women want an hour of you time. Please let Beth know if you plan to be there so I have plenty of hot rags, towels, and spa treatments ready. See you all this Tuesday, your spa consultant, Gary Flowers. And so that's that. And then the day before, and remember all three of these texts you can find and retype them on your phone and save them in your phone. Or you can um, copy from Facebook and send them to your guests that way. But you just type in invite, click on that magnifying glass on our team Facebook page, type in invite, and it'll bring everything up that's had the word invite in it. But that'll bring up these three texts. And then the day before, Hey, Jennifer, it's Gary. Um, nope, that's the wrong one. Let's see. There it is. Guess who has a spa tomorrow? Yay. If you would, please text all those you invited and see if they're coming. No guessing. Smiley face. So I know how many to prepare hot rags, towels, and spa treatments for. It's important. It serves as a reminder. You asking them lets them know you really care, and that's true. If they come, and serves as a reminder that the spa is tomorrow. I'll see you about 645 with bells on. I'll also send you a text next that you can send them to reply that they aren't coming. If they aren't coming, can't wait. See you tomorrow. Now, I don't always send that text for, for orders. Sometimes, most of the time, I don't because I just don't want to mess with the, the reorders. But that will um, possibly add $40, $50. Somebody will order if you want to do that, too. Um, and I can put that text on Facebook if you guys want that. So it's a three-text system. Invite the 12 to your spas. However, you have to invite them. And if you have to print the invite and send it through the mail to the people, I promise you that it will pay off. And so, yes, it's a little bit of trouble sitting in address in 12 envelopes, but what's better, doing that or getting to a spa? There being three two-year-olds, four grown-ups there, and the spa is crazy and not at all what you meant for it to be for them. And so, um, 12 invited, the odds are if you invite 12, that'll put six to eight butts in seats. And whenever you do that, six or seven are going to order. And when that happens, average order is about um, $60 to $100. So you end up with a four to $600 spa. It's just the odds. Work on your odds. Now, if you're doing one spa a month, you can't count on odds. That's not enough to get odds going. 
So you need to be doing at least four or five doing. So what's that mean? We know by our odds of spas holding that um, only 50 to 60 percent are going to hold. So that means that, you know, your odds are that, you know, if you schedule eight, then four or five are going to hold. And so do the math on that. What an awesome business we have. Um, adding a thousand dollars or more to our family's income with 10 hours of work per month is, is totally amazing. And if it doesn't make sense to you yet, or if you just can't quite get it, please get with me. Please get with me. I want to make, help you make this business exactly what you want it to be.